The truth about raw milk. The Franco-Prussian War of 1870 led to many lasting changes across Europe. Among them was France's loss of the Alsace-Lorraine region, which stirred a lot of anti-German feelings through France. This had been a key hop-growing region for France, and in the war's aftermath, a man called Louis Pasteur created a beer of revenge in a quest to show the world that France's beer was superior to Prussia's because it kept for as long as needed, while Prussian beer went cloudy. This was thanks to pasteurization, which Pasteur developed in 1864 to help wine and beer keep for longer. Now, when we think about pasteurization, we think about cow's milk. But before we knew to heat milk up to kill harmful bacteria, including Salmonella, E. coli, and Listeria, it was dangerous to drink. Before the 1800s, when refrigeration didn't exist, milk was transported in carts from cities to neighborhoods. As cities grew and put more space between cows and people's homes, the longer journey time allowed bacteria to grow in the milk, causing millions of people to get sick with tuberculosis, scarlet fever, and typhoid fever. Pasteurization became routine across Europe and the US by 1950, thankfully, and is now hailed as one of the most successful public health successes in recent history. But there are still some proponents mm. of raw milk. Some say pasteurization kills off important nutrients, but scientists don't believe that anything lost during the pasteurization is important for human health. Others think that raw milk is safe for people with lactose intolerance, but this isn't true either. Some European studies of Amish farm children have found a relationship between drinking raw milk and fewer cases of asthma and allergies. But this could be explained by living closely with animals or spending lots of time outdoors. In response to the raw milk movement, retail sales of raw milk are banned in about 20 US states. US federal law bans the distribution of raw milk across state lines in final package form, meaning it can only be transported if it's going to be pasteurized or used to make cheese. This ban harks back to the prohibition of alcohol in the US throughout the 1920s and into the 30s, when people were banned from making, transporting, or selling alcohol in an attempt to lower the crime and social problems. However, then, as is a concern now, prohibition doesn't necessarily bring an end to consumption so much as it drives it underground. But let's not give raw milk all the limelight. There's also a long-standing debate over the safety of cheeses made from unpasteurized milk, since it can contain bacteria including Listeria, E. coli, and Salmonella, according to scientists. Cheesemakers are held to high standards, but it can still be unsafe. In a study earlier this year, researchers analyzed more than 600 samples of cheese made and sold across England and found that 5% were borderline and 12% were unsatisfactory germ-wise. Four samples were potentially dangerous. Cheese is made by separating milk into curd and whey by applying heat and adding cultures. Historically, all cheeses were unpasteurized and bacteria were controlled using techniques such as adding salt. When pasteurization became widespread and the dairy industry grew, cheesemakers started using pasteurized milk. Pasteurization makes sense for big cheese companies that need to quickly and efficiently safeguard customers. But independent cheesemakers say pasteurizing removes crucial flavor-giving bacteria. Raw milk cheese is at the heart of a war on national identity across the channel. Independent cheese producers in France are embroiled in the so-called camembert wars with big producers over the use of the prestigious AOP Normandy camembert label. Last year, big producers of one of France's most popular cheeses who use pasteurized milk not from the traditional Normandy region lost a 20-year battle when the country's competition watchdog banned them from using the Made in Normandy label. The president of France's National Dairy AOP board said the whole point of AOP cheese is that it comes from milk that's alive. From the Franco-Prussian battle to the Camembert War, the fight for and against pasteurization across industries and seas is a passionate one. But while cheesemakers seem to have a strong case for using raw milk, there really is no ambiguity when it comes to raw versus pasteurized milk.